Good morning, everyone. It's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I sell all of the fabulous Stampin' Up! products that I share with you. I am um, 10 minutes late, and I did not announce that I was going to be um, going live. I do apologize. It is Monday morning, and I am... Not having the greatest start of my day. I dumped my coffee all over my lap, my first coffee this morning. So um, that's how my day has started. So since then, it's um, not been awesome. But I am here with you and now my day is going to become awesome because I am here sharing some creative inspiration for your week. So today's card is a fun fold card that uh, Sarah Douglas had shared in um, the wildfire fundraiser I had done uh, with um, Donna Gray. Sorry, words are hard this morning too. It's going to be one of those days, so just bear with me. So this was a card that Sarah showed in that um, group back in February, I believe it was. So it is, it opens like this. Um, so it is a piece of uh, cardstock that is, um, let me just, we are eight and a half by five and a half and uh, scored at two and a half and two. And I'm actually going to show you how to score the score once uh, so that, and then cut once and then you've got your two bases. So I am using the Abstract Impressions stamp set from the annual catalog as well as the Springtime Impressions Thinlets dies, the um, butterfly from that and then of course my beloved stitched shapes I'm using the very smallest um, of these uh, stitched circles hi Jasmine how are you and I'm also using the uh, best dressed designer series paper from the January to June mini uh, my as you can see I have almost completely gone through this pack and then, of course, some pearls to decorate up this um, butterfly. And then my color is Lovely Lipstick. So I noticed when I was stamping this morning, like I literally just created this card uh, this morning. I was chatting with my friend Sharon, and I said, okay, I got to go because I have my live this morning, and I have nothing prepared. So... Um, I noticed that my ink pad when I was stamping was needing some to be re-inked. So what I'm going to do to show you how to do this, um, in case you're not sure, uh, so you take your re-inker and your ink pad, and I just use a plastic spoon that is nice and smooth, and I'm going to add... some drops all over the pad. And again, Lovely Lipstick is a color from the In Color family for the 2018-2020. So it is retiring. So I'm just taking my spoon and I am pressing in to get that ink to go into that ink pad. Now generally you would set it aside so it had enough time to really um, absorb in, but as I'm doing this live, it's not going to have that time. So then I just take a, a wet rag and wipe that off. And that is done. So I'm gonna set that aside for a few moments though. 
close it up so I don't put my hands in it. So when you are uh, coming by, please say, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, I like to hear where everybody is coming from. Good morning, Linda. How are you? So I have a full piece of mint macaron. It is 11 by eight and a half. And I am going to score it. This is my Simply Scored. I love my Simply Scored. I use it all the time. Even though there is a scoring blade on the trimmer, I prefer to use this. So I'm gonna score it at two and a half and six and a half. And that's giving me my two and a half here and my two inches there. Okay, move this off. Bring in my trimmer. And then put this down. Move everything out of the way so that you can see. And then slide this over to my five and a half. And trim, and there I have two bases. I've scored once, cut once. So that way I um, have created much less work for me. So then all you're gonna do is, I've got my bone folder, and I am going to take this and crease on those score lines, giving it a nice, good solid fold and there you have it now you can open your card this way with the bottom the smaller two inch over top or the this way with the two and a half inch it's whatever you choose oh uh, Linda I'm still in my jammies as well um, my jammies that have coffee all over the pants so <laughs> yeah all right, so I'm going to first, I want to um, adhere my layers. So I have chosen this pattern here with the mint macaron leaves and the um, lovely lipstick flowers. When you're looking for color inspiration, just look at the pattern paper. Um, Stampin' Up! always writes on the back of it what the colors are in it. And so therefore you know that those colors are going to coordinate together, making it easy for you. You don't have to think too awful hard. All you have to do is look at the back of that package of paper and there you have a bunch of fabulous color combinations. Good morning, Anne-Marie. How are you? We are supposed to get a storm today with high winds. I'm hoping not. Um, the last time we had a storm here, we lost power for well, an hour and a half or so. And it was torrential downpours and... All right, so I'm just gonna scooch that over a bit. And now let's glue this to my card front. Good morning, Lisa, how are you? I hope everybody had a fabulous Easter weekend. We um, had two different virtual family gatherings. We did, with the Denning side, we did Zoom. And then with my side, the McKay side, we did house party. Although my sister, when she set it up, did not realize that you could only have eight people joining at once so people had to pop on and off but it was so nice even for a few moments to have seen and chatted with everybody i gotta pull this down just a smidge 
I made homemade macaroni and cheese for our dinner. Okay. So there, my base is done. And now let's take, I've got my die cut butterfly and I'm just going to, with my bone folder, just give it a little bit of a curl of the wings. Bring in my stitched circle and I'm just going to apply just a small amount of adhesive on, on the back of that and stick that right in the center. Okay, and then I'll wait to put this on, actually. So, now we are going to stamp. So this stamp here has the three different layers to it. So my first layer is the, this one here, and I am going to stamp off twice. I'm gonna ink it up and then go one, two, breathe on it to re-moisten that, and then stamp down in the corner. So it's a very, very light color. And then my next one, now how did I line this up earlier? That's the thing with these stamps. I think it was this way. Okay, so doesn't really matter. So this one here, the next layer, I'm only gonna stamp off once. Breathe on it. And then stamp down. And then my third layer is solid ink. So I'm going to say that this is going to go this way. And there you have the three different levels of the same color. And since re-inking my, my uh, stamp pad, it has, I got a much better image than I did first thing this morning. Okay, so let's glue this. I haven't uh, placed a sentiment on this because I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for. I've got some birthdays and anniversaries coming up. Um, so I want to make sure that I have some cards on hand to get sent out. So I'm just going to wait and um, put my sentiment on after the fact. So I'm going to take my pearls. And because I always do this, I always put a dot of glue to make sure those pearls are going to stay and not come off in the envelope. So then there's my first. Come on. And my second. Scooch you down just a touch. And my third. Lift that up to make sure that they're fairly, they look pretty straight to me. Okay, move that to the side. Now, because I um, am putting this on the top flap, flap, you wanna make sure that you do not put your adhesive all the way to the bottom or you won't be able to open the card. So we're just going to cover that top half Close this over, put that in the center. Oh, 
And then when I flip that open, you can see that there is no adhesive there. Good morning, Lynn, how are you? Country internet is horrible. I'm just looking at my comments now. So there you have it. Was that not a super fast fun fold card? I'm done. So um, remember, score once, cut once, you've got your two bases. And then open that up. So the um, measurements instructions will be on my blog a little later. Uh, as I haven't even taken a photo of this because I seriously just created this card. So yes. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, so as you can see too, you're not using a whole lot of designer series paper either for this card. So you can use up some of those scraps. So yes. Now you could also um, fancy this up with a bit of Wink of Stella, add a few more pearls to the front, um, add some of our silver metallic thread. There's a lot of ways you can uh, step this up even further, but I wanted to keep it fairly simple to show you that you can make a very pretty card with very few supplies. Thank you, Marie. So that is all for me this morning. Um, if you are watching the replay uh, on YouTube later, please click that subscribe button below um, as well as the notification bell and please share my video sharing is caring and it's how I reach more crafty people so um, I hope you have a fabulous Monday and I will see you on Wednesday um, Wednesday I'm going to be 7 p.m. not 5 I'm finding that the lighting right now with the uh, leaves not on the trees it's very very bright at five o'clock so i'm moving my live to wednesday at seven so have a fabulous day everybody and i will uh, see you on wednesday bye for now